These are the two products that I purchased. So I purchased the foundation and then I purchased the primer just because I thought it would be fair just to give them both a shot and see if the foundation works better with the primer or if the foundation works better with a different primer. So today I am going to be doing a first impression and wear test of the new Fenty Beauty foundation. I am so pumped for this brand. It honestly looks stunning. It looks like she knows her shit. Rihanna, girl, you go, girl. As I said, I did purchase the primer and the foundation. So I am going to spray my face with the Smashbox primer water. I always spray this on my face before I do makeup, so I just want to make sure that it's fair and this first impression is fair. So I'm going to start off by doing this. It's leaking. I don't know why it's leaking. Making me nervous. So first I'm going to talk about the primer. So I am on the Sephora website and it's called the Pro Filter Instant Retouch Primer. And it retails for $32. So this bad boy right here, this primer is $32, which is not bad because you do get 1.08 fluid ounces, which is a good size for a primer because I was looking at the benefit professional and it's 0.75 fluid ounces and I believe this is around the same price range so she's killing it on the sizes honestly I'm really happy that she included the primer and the foundation the same exact size this primer is a pore diffusing primer that smooths the way for better foundation application and a longer wear with an instant retouch effect it's oil free and your makeup will last longer so this is what the packaging looks like it's really pretty it has like that nude pinkish packaging with like splatters of black I believe and then it just says Fenty Beauty by Rihanna and then the name of the product is on the bottom. So I'm going to go ahead and open this up. On the top it says soft matte so that's like the shade of it I believe. I think there's only one shade. <laughs> yeah it's a primer so it's only one shade. And then you open it up and you slip it out and girl this packaging is to die for. It kind of reminds me of like the colors and like aspect of KKW Beauty, but I personally like this better because it's more of my price point. So that's a plus. I think it's gorgeous. It has like that pinkish nudish top and then a frosted clear bottle and then Fenty Beauty. And then on the bottom it says the name of the primer. So this is what the primer looks like up close. It's really stunning and just really sleek and just honestly gorgeous. I'm really excited to try this out because it also does have a pump. So I was thinking I'm going to do half of my face with this primer and half of my face with the Benefit Professional just to see if the primer makes a huge difference with the foundation. So on my right side I'm going to do the Fenty Beauty primer and then on the left side I'm going to do the Professional. So that's what the primer looks like right there. It's kind of like a white, pinky consistency. And it feels like, um, I don't know, it kind of feels like lotion. and looks like lotion. Smell? Oh, girl, that is a nice smell. That's like a very, very, very faint vanilla smell. And it doesn't smell like artificial vanilla. It smells gorgeous. I'm already happy. I'm already happy. So I'm going to do this primer on the right side as much as I can it's hard applying primer just to one side <laughs> but already I can tell that I'm really gonna like this primer she is killing it already it feels really like tacky it's like a tacky consistency so it kinda of feels like the hard candy in a way so I wonder if I should switch to that one but oh yeah, it gets tacky, which I enjoy that because that means that your foundation is just going to adhere to your face even more. Hold on, I want to put her on my channel. Are you ready? Hold on, let me. Uh... Here, I'll get a better angle. Hey, Sasha. I doing? miss her so much. That's my little poochie. And your big poochie. Uh, and my big poochie. <laughs> uh... Oh my god, I miss them. So anyways, 
Um, I really like the feeling of this. It feels a little bit tacky. It dried down a little bit, but it does still like have a tacky feeling. And it didn't like sting. It wasn't too strong of a scent, which honestly, like I'm really impressed right now. I am loving this, just like from a first impression. So now I'm going to take the Benefit Professional. I have to say, like, these are both completely different consistencies. The Benefit Professional is more of, like, a, uh, um, thicker cream, but it fills in pores really nicely. Um, the Fenta Beauty one is more of, like, a tacky feeling lotion. It's not as thick as this one, so they are a little bit different, so I would just keep that in mind. They are primed and ready to go. I'm so pumped about this foundation. So excited! So, so far I really like this primer. I think she did a great job and I'm really impressed so far. So that gives me high hopes. <laughs> so now onto the foundation. This is what the box looks like. It's more of the black than the pink. As you can see right here, the foundation one, the box is just more black, which she probably did that on purpose just so you could tell the difference. And then it has the shade name on the top. And I got 200 because that was the cool toned light to medium skin tone. So I definitely hopefully got the right shade. And on the side it has like a little description. So I'm just going to read that off. It says it's a medium to full coverage for all long wear light as air. So it's medium to full coverage. It comes in 1.08 fluid ounces, so it has a little bit more than the average foundation size for high-end foundations, which I am happy about. And this foundation retails for $34, which is also not bad, Rihanna, not bad. $34 is more of my price point for high-end foundations. Usually they range around $40, so it's a little cheaper. So thank you, girl. So she has 40 shades, which is excellent for us light girls, girls lighter than me, medium skin tones, dark skin tones. She's hitting it all. It's an oil-free formula. It says it won't clog pores and it will dry down to a matte finish. And it's 100% cruelty-free. So she's pretty much marketing her whole brand to everyone, being cruelty-free for those girls out there that only have a makeup collection that goes for cruelty-free. And then also, like, she's trying to include all shade ranges, which is honestly genius of her, which every single brand should do this. Why do you not include at least 40 to 50 shades? There, girl, I have one roommate, and she is not even close to the shade I am. Imagine how many millions of people are on this earth. Oh, and then also where you open it, it says to shake well. Yes, ma'am. So this one is a little bit different. This has the white top instead of like the pinkish nudish top, but it has the same um, structure for the bottle. And it has the same clear frosted bottle. And then you can see the shade right through it, which is nice. And then on the bottom, it has the shade and the name of the foundation. So I'm going to shake this up like it said to. So I'm just going to squirt out a few just so you guys can see how runny it is. So as you can see right there, it's a little bit on the runny side. It's not so thick. It's definitely more of a thinner consistency. And again, this is the shade 200. So I'm just going to squirt out like two pumps. And I'm going to go in with the brush first. So for my brush today, I'm going to use the Morphe M439. This is a really big, just dense, like, foundation brush. So I think I'm going to do brush on the professional side, and then I'm going to do sponge on the Fenty Beauty primer side. I have, like, a little primer right here. <laughs> so let's see. So let's just talk about this little area right here. It is full coverage. It's like, it's definitely not as like on the medium side. It's more going more towards the full side, which I'm very happy about. So as you can see, it does dry down a different color than when you apply it, which I feel like every foundation does. You can just see when you apply it, it's a little bit more yellow, and then as it dries down, it gets more of like my skin tone. Okay, 
right, so this is what the foundation looks like with the brush and on the professional side. Honestly, it is full coverage, which is awesome, and it feels really lightweight so far. It didn't really leave any brush strokes, but I do see, like, if you apply too much in one area, it does start to look a little cakey, which I feel like that tends to happen when I apply it with brushes lightly. But right now, I'm really enjoying it because it feels really lightweight, and... It's really full coverage. So now I'm going to go in on the sponge side and I'm just using the black beauty blender. And of course the sponge is going to soak up a little bit more of the foundation. So I will probably have to use more on this side. Okay, and this is what it looks like with the Beauty Blender. So honestly, I like them both. I'm kind of leaning towards more of the brush side, just because I feel like this side looks more flawless. It sunk into my skin a little bit more, so it just looks more even. and doesn't show as much texture as this side does. This side definitely does have a little bit of a luminosity to it, and it kind of looks like the foundation is more just like sitting on top of my skin instead of like sinking into it. So I definitely can tell the difference right there. I think I definitely like the brush side a lot better just because it looks more perfected, if that's the right word. So now I'm just going to apply some concealer. I definitely do like the foundation. I know I'm going to love it just because it's so lightweight, but it's so full coverage with not using a lot of product. So she definitely killed it in that aspect. So for my concealer, I'm going to go in with the Tarte Shape Tape. I might mix these two, or I might just use Light Neutral. So I have Light Neutral and Medium, so I think I'm going to mix the two. I'm going to blend this out with my Beauty Blender, just because I always use sponges to blend out concealer. Okay, so the concealer is all blended out. It looks fabulous. It looks seamless. And it just looks, like, gorgeous. Like, the concealer blended out really nicely, which I didn't expect it to not. So, now I'm going to bake my face with the Laura Mercier. Okay, so while I let my face bake, I'm just going to go do my eyebrows and probably just the rest of my face real quick. And then I will get back to you guys when that is all done and let you know what I think about the foundation. And then we will do a wear test. So stay tuned. Okay, so I'm back. My makeup is complete. So this is what the foundation is looking like right now. Um, I honestly am obsessed. Obsessed. Can we say that one more time? Obsessed. I love this foundation. This is my new holy grail. New holy grail foundation, honestly. Like, it's so lightweight. It's so full coverage with just like a little bit of product. I really did not use that much. And it just looks like flawless. It doesn't really emphasize texture at all. Like, I have a lot of texture going on right now because of like switching cities and everything and school and stress and just everything combined. So I have a lot of texture on my skin right now, but it just looks so smooth and just so gorgeous and just, it's so worth it. Right now, I'm obsessed with it. It's like my new baby. It's honestly my new favorite foundation and that takes a lot to say about a foundation, especially that I like. Because usually, like my holy grails before this one were the Wet n Wild, the Dior, and the YSL, but now this one literally beats all of those so that says a lot and I'm just really impressed so right now <laughs> it is 528 so it's like later in the afternoon this isn't gonna be a long wear test because I'm not sure what I'm doing tonight but I definitely will update you guys eventually maybe like three or four hours in so this is my first impression I give it 
a hundred million thumbs up. It's so worth it. I recommend for all of you out there that are like on the fence about trying it, I would just try out the foundation. Because if you don't want to spend a lot all at once, I understand that. I get it. And honestly, I do have to say that I like this side a little bit better than this side. Just because my texture is not like really showing through this side at all. I feel like it looks more smoother, more like perfected. Especially like on my forehead, I have a ton of bumps right now, but I can't, it just looks really smoothed over. And that was the side that we used, the Fenty Primer. So this is the side with the professional, and I can definitely see more texture. I can just see it on my forehead a little bit more. So I definitely recommend if you are to get either one of these products, I would definitely try out the foundation first just because like you can use any primer with this, but it just the Fenty primer goes better, but it doesn't look horrible with other primers. I definitely will try out different primers as well. And plus you get a shit ton of product. 1.08 ounces in both like both and they're both not too expensive 34 32 I think if you have the money and you want to splurge a little bit then I would totally try these out because they're just my new love honestly they're just that stinking good so I will stop babbling on. Um, I will see you guys in a couple hours. Hopefully the foundation lasts a very long time. I honestly think it will. So I will see you guys in a little bit. Okay, so I am back. It is 9.36. So it has been, I can't even remember what time I checked in, like 4.30? Um, almost like four hours, let's say that, yeah. So it's been almost like four hours and that I've had this foundation on. And honestly, your girl is impressed. This is one of my new foundations that I'm obsessed with. I just think Fenty Beauty is just, she's killing it. She's a genius and she just knows what she's doing. Because right now, my skin does not look oily at all. And it honestly looks like pretty matte, but like a gorgeous matte finish. It's not like... Um, too flat or like way too luminous. I don't look oily really at all. So I honestly am so impressed. Um, I don't really have anything bad to say because even my smile lines aren't really bad. Don't forget to subscribe. I am getting close to 2k subscribers so once we reach that I will do a giveaway. Definitely let me know what you think about the foundation and the primer down below. What side do you think looks better? Remember Fenty primer, professional primer. So that's the difference. I can't really see a big difference, but I just see there's less texture on this side than this side. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed and I will see you in my next video. Bye guys! I'm just